Hi, I'm Dr. Jennifer Redmond of Samsara Chiropractic Wellness Center, and I have to apologize because I have been MIA on YouTube since, I think, February. Um, things have really been taking off at the Wellness Center, um, and we've been planning tons of fun events. We just had our dinner with the doctor, our very first dinner with the doctor on Monday, and it went beautifully. I, we were so excited. People had a great time. Um, and uh, it was just a really great night of education and fellowship and community. Um, and Gianna had, and I had so much fun. We were like, oh my gosh, can we do that again tomorrow? It was just such a blast. So thank you to everyone who attended. Um, today, I would like to talk about antacids. Um, years ago, Tums came out with an advertising campaign that said that, oh, you can get your calcium by taking Tums. Isn't that a fantastic idea? You fight indigestion and get calcium at the same time. Okay, I'm going to teach you why that is not such a great idea. Okay, when you take um, an antacid, you decrease your stomach acid. That's kind of the point of those medications. Um, unfortunately, calcium needs an acidic environment to be absorbed. <laughs> so I think you can probably see the problem with that. Um, so what you're actually doing is you're decreasing, when you take an antacid, you're decreasing your body's ability to break down and digest the nutrients and get them into your system. Um, and calcium is one of those main nutrients that is um, broken down in the stomach. Um, so a better idea is to find out why in the world you have indigestion in the first place. Some people have something called a hiatal hernia, where the stomach is actually herniated above the diaphragm and it's causing stomach acid to actually um, backwash into their, or backlog into their, into the back of their throat. Really unpleasant, I know, but that's what's happening. Um, other times people actually have a deficiency of hydrochloric acid in their stomach, so their body is producing extra um, in order to counteract this, this imbalance. Um, but when you take the times, you're actually adding to the problem because you're keeping your body from producing that stomach acid even more. This also happens when people try to get off of um, the antacids sometimes if they've been on them for a very long time. If they stop taking them, their body has actually acclimated and started producing extra hydrochloric acid in order to digest their food. And so when they try to go off of the medication, uh, they'll end up with worse reflux than they ever had before. And um, that's why it's really important to do it under the care of a healthcare professional. Um, so better, I, I've gotten tons of people off of their um, antacids just by doing that simple a simple chiropractic adjustment where we actually pull the stomach below the diaphragm again. Sometimes, most of the time, I should say, it only takes once, uh, one time of actually pulling that down and it doesn't come back. Every so often, we have to do it a few times, but um, it's an amazing fix. It's a crime that more people don't know about it, um, and it's such an easy thing to do, and there's no side effects. So um, there is your uh, enlightening thought of the day. Hopefully, some of you can use that knowledge to your advantage and never have to take an antacid again. Uh, have a happy and healthy day and keep shining.